Don't freak out. I'm wearing less makeup than usual, but it's okay. <laughs> I planned on that today, actually. I was like, eh, I don't want to deal with lots of makeup tomorrow. First day here without Bryant back neck. I was like, eh. Everybody else survived. I kind of like it, actually. Simpler. No, I wear more makeup. It'll be for a special occasion. Um, cha. So, the big deal right now like, is uh, lots of drama at my school. And it's not even, I'm not involved in it. It's pe lots of people that I'm friends with, involved with. I'm not going to name names. They all know who they are. If you're watching this, you all know who you are. I'm not taking sides. I'm not taking sides. I don't know what's going on exactly. I've heard like so many different stories and they're like all linked to like the same group of people and I'm just like, kids, calm down. You know, I'm not gonna say that whatever's happening isn't a big deal to you because I don't know. I'm not in it so I'm not gonna get involved. I love you all. Everybody. Every single one of you. I'm not, I love you all. I don't think any different of you. No smack talking is gonna bother me. Just want everybody to know that I wish everybody would get along, but I know that doesn't always happen, so we'll see if it gets better. Just really, my, like my message mostly for the day is just don't get involved in drama. Like, if you're not part of it, don't, don't do it. Like, don't be like mad at people just because you're, just because your friend's mad at somebody doesn't mean you have to be mad at somebody. You know, I mean, if you like them, then, you know, and, and friends, if you're mad at somebody, don't make your friends be mad at them. Like, don't be like, oh, we have to, you know, just don't do that. Don't do that clicky crap. It just, it rips people apart. Okay. It just does. It's, it makes it even worse. It makes it 10 times worse. Like if the people that are in the drama directly, like deal with it. I mean, it's okay to stand up for your friend. I mean, that's not what I'm saying, but I mean, don't like make a big deal out of it if it's just their little you know argument over nothing just stay out of it be like i'm gonna stay out of this one you know i hope you guys work it out because that's what i'm doing you know and i'll like listen to whatever they have to say but i'm not gonna take sides you know because i don't know i mean you know like you're only hearing one side of the story you gotta remember that like somebody tells me well so-and-so said this to me and it might have been extremely rude and they might be right that hurt but you don't know what your friend might have said to them. I'm not saying your friends are bad people. My friends aren't. None of them are. They're all really good people. They're just misunderstanding, hurt feelings and all that, you know. And it can happen on accident. Really, just remember that you aren't always right. And you might have accidentally hurt somebody's feelings. Even if it was just an accident, you didn't mean to hurt. I, I like, do that all the time. I, like, say stuff and I'm like, oh, that just hurt someone's feelings. And I... I I'm not like a mean person, I'm not trying to hurt people, but it happens, and I feel bad, you know? So just be able to admit that you might have been wrong, even if it was an accident, it's okay. You can fix it. Just don't be like, I didn't do anything, you know, and accuse, accuse, accuse. That's not how you make friends. Okay, I'm sorry. I just turned that into a big heart-to-heart -heart Dr. Phil thing right off the bat, didn't I? Okay, I won't do that anymore. Moving on. I uh, need to clean my room. I have some more clothes in my closet I need to put away. And I have a walk-in closet. Like, Right over there. That door? That's my closet. That other door? This one? That one? Right there behind me? Yeah, okay. I can point, I promise. Um, that's the one that goes out of my bedroom. But anyway, the closet, I'm, I need to clean it for several reasons. And one of those reasons is actually a reason I'm afraid to go in there. Ironically. That's strange. The deal is, my I have stuff hanging up in there. I have like a sheet hanging up on the wall, like for decoration purposes. Yeah, I'm a weirdo, and I like take my profile pictures in there because I'm like a black background sometimes. Yeah, so I have a black sheet hanging up in there, and uh, it was like hanging by thumbtacks. And my cousin, oh, my cousin, she went in there. I give her a hard time. She went in there, and she's like, "What's this hanging here for?" And she like pulled it, and it like one of the tacks fell off, and it's on the floor in there somewhere, and I can't find it. Like, we looked around, we're like, where to go? She's like, I don't know. I'm like, oh, great. So basically, here it is. Every time I walk into my closet and see that sheet hanging, like, lopsided because it's missing a tack, I'm reminded that I'm going to die a painful death someday in that closet because my cousin's a moron. <laughs> I'm just like, so I'm afraid to go in there. I really need to. But I'm making my video instead. I have some other stuff. I know. Okay, I'm so weird. Sometimes I think about stuff in my head. I'm like, oh, 
that'd be a really good thing to say in my vlog today, and I always forget. Sad day. I practice later. Road trip with the kids. I'm so excited. I just, I love my friends. Bree, Kat, and Lexi, my roadies. I love you guys. I really love, you guys make practice so much funner. Like, I don't even know. Like, just you guys riding with me. It's so much fun. It's like a party every ride, you know? And it's, uh, I just love you guys so much. This is the best. So I'm excited about that. What else was I going to talk about? I'm just gonna make funny faces. But yeah, I feel I feel okay. Actually, today is like a pretty good day. Mom's yelling at me to come eat soon. Oh, by the way, these aren't feathers in my hair. This is an earring. And it's only one earring. Oh, okay, here. There we go. Here's a funny story I can run them with. Uh, we went to church one night, and it's dark out by the time we go to church. And me and Bree went there. And uh I hear say, what the heck is this? Like on the ground and I look over and it's dark. I can't see what it is. She's picking up something with feathers. I think it's a dead bird. And I'm like, what is that? What do you, you know, I was like, why are you picking that up? And she's like, it's an earring. So she, we found this earring on the ground and she's like, you want it? And I was like, you don't want it? And she's like, no. She always has her hair up and she, anyway, she thinks it'll look good. She's like, you'll wear it. And today it was in my purse and it matched my Bob Marley shirt. And I, I thought that looked really cute. So anyway. A little something to my simple look today <laughs> but yeah so I like it I like it a lot it's really cute it's kind of got brown on it it's got like yellow and reddish brown though so you know they're like and it's got stripes like zebra haha <laughs> be fun oh today here we go uh, today we were still doing stuff for those uh career tests we did in English and um me and Nate, you know, well, me and Nate, I say me and Nate were talking, and really Nate just listens and goes, yeah, like every once in a while, or says, oh, that's good, you know, or, oh, you know, I mean, contributes to the, like, ambiance of the conversation, but he doesn't actually say much. <laughs> he just listens to me talk, because I would never shut up. Ambiance. Bing. Brownie points for using a vocab word. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, that is a vocab word. But anyways... Uh, I thought it'd be really fun to be a photographer. It's like, that'd be kind of a cool career because it's like artsy and I mean, not saying it's easy, like it's an art, you know, but I think since I'm a right brained person, like the creative side, like it would come naturally to me, not easy. You know what I mean? Like I would enjoy it and it wouldn't be something really hard. And you know, those people get paid a lot of money and then I could still do like hair school or something. So I could do like more than one, you know, little thing could do hair and the people pay a lot for that too you know I mean I could do someone's hair for their senior pictures and then take the senior pictures so and I and you know that that only requires like a associate's degree I don't know what mom's saying it only requires like an associate's degree and hair school's like nine months I mean I could do that so you know I was thinking about it so I'm gonna look into it and also um, it's still early in the semester, like, you know, second week, so I could still switch classes. We have a photography class at our school, and if maybe I am in textiles, and I'm really not liking it that much, I'm just going to learn how to knit. Like, seriously, I could probably learn that from a diagram. So I'm going to see if uh, it would work, like, I'm going to ask Ms. Carlson, the art teacher, who apparently teaches photography as well, if I can, you know, if she has a class I can maybe switch into easy. That'd be really awesome. So we'll see how that works. I hope it, I hope it does. It'll be really fun. So anyway, new career path, maybe. I was going to talk. I had like another PSA <laughs> to give my whole, don't get involved with drama, kids. Okay, also, here we go. Here's another one. I don't know if this is what I was planning on saying, but it always bothers me. Don't freak out about anything on the internet. Okay, there are too many people posting crap on Facebook that's like complaining about what other people post. Like, don't use hashtags on Facebook. Don't post about your drama. We don't care. Don't put, you know, I'm going to defriend these people because I'm so sick of hearing, like, really? Okay, if you really don't like them that much, then sure, defriend them. But, like, if it's just because they, like, use hashtags or whatever, just don't read it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm like. People, I hate when people do that. I'm going to defriend them because they posted that. And I'm like, 
I mean, unless it's offensive or threatening, that's different, but I just ignore it. Like, really? If I don't care, I ignore it. So, like, just don't forget about anything on the internet, especially the hashtags thing, because I used them a couple times just for, like, effect. And, you know, people are like, get a Twitter. This isn't Twitter, this is Facebook. I'm like, it's just a number sign with words after it. Like, okay, just ignore it, you know? It doesn't do anything. <sighs> anyway, people are dumb. But it's okay, I'm having a pretty good day. I'll probably think of something. I might think of something to add to this later. I hate doing that. But I'm gonna think it's kind of short, and I gotta go eat, so. Okay, love you. Guys, talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> oh, wait, by the way, it is the 9th of January. Monday! Yeah, okay, bye. Ah! So I'm back. Um, practice. I'm really kind of tired. <laughs> I'm sore. I just need to sleep. And I know I shouldn't be here doing a video, but I am. Uh, I'm tired. Just on an off note. I really like just this makeup. I think I'm going to do it for night, bath, or non. Simple. Simple crap, you know. Uh, so, practice was alright. It went pretty fast, it seems like. I was just, you know, it was pretty fun. We learned some more stuff for the show. It's gonna be really good. And, uh, it was also a sad, sad evening. Uh, we usually drop by this McDonald's because my kids in my car, my kids, not mine, the kids in the car like to go by this McDonald's right there, like, by where we practice. Right after practice, you know. And, um, we drive by, and I'm driving, and I see it. The golden arches, but they're not lit up. And I look underneath the golden arches, and there's no building. There's just an empty lot. And I'm like, well, that's weird. So I look up, and I realize, you know, I look down the road, I don't see any more golden arches. So then we, like, stop, and I'm like, do you guys see this? Are you seeing this? And they're like, yeah, what the... Yeah, we were there a week ago. Today's Monday, the, like, 9th. We were there on, like, the 2nd. Like, seriously. And it's been, like, completely taken, like, off. And I really had to go to the bathroom, so we went to Taco Bell, and, like, um, Kat got some food. But, like, and then I asked, do you know what happened at McDonald's down the road? And they're like, yeah, they're remodeling it remodeling it the thing is freaking gone i don't oh. it was really heck of annoying and then we really wanted to drink so there's like a sonic right next door so we go to the sonic and we order and we're like there's like nobody else there dude like i don't know what we're waiting on but we sat there in the drive through behind this one car and this lady in the window was just talking to this guy just just dip dab and talking to him and like the lady the girl came up and like got his drink, because apparently he did order something. At first I was like, why are they just talking to this dude? But, um, put his drink there, and it sat there for like five minutes while they talked. And then the girl was like, oh, here's your drink. And they just still kept talking. And I'm like, finally, we just said, screw it. Like, he was about to leave, I think. But we were just like, screw it. We just drove away, honked at him, yelled, we're like, screw this. Like, we were not happy. So we ended up having to do Dairy Queen. Got, like, water and... Like, she got her fries. I'm just like, really? Oh my gosh, you guys. It was so dumb. It was so dumb. You don't even, you don't even know how dumb it was. <sighs> stressful. Stressful. But we were, like, seriously sad. Like, our McDonald's is dead. It's gone. Completely. Forever. I mean, it, and then they're like, oh, it'll be back in, like, three months. In three months, we will no longer be going there. Not really, I mean, I guess a little bit. You know what I mean? They'll be like the end of our season, though. I'm like, seriously, we need it now. Like, they couldn't have waited three months to do this? Like, why would they be doing construction in the middle of the winter? Probably because cause they realized it's not like, going to get cold this year. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. So sad. I can't even express how sad. But yeah, I'm really tired and I need to go to bed. But I just really wanted to rant about how sad I am about the death of my... About the death of my McDonald's. Or McDonald's. Sorry, girls. But yeah, tomorrow.
tomorrow. It's gonna be a good day, I hope. I'm teaching Luca and Brittany Joe the uh, guard routine for our little Rose Hill thing because they want to do it. So I'm gonna teach what they missed because they weren't there on Friday. So I'm doing that tomorrow. And yeah. Oh, and I don't have gas. I'm supposed to getting gas money for my roadies. So hopefully that works out because I don't have gas. And I'm supposed to take my brother to practice. You know, I'm supposed to take kids to school. My brother to basketball practice tomorrow night. Like. I don't know how I'm gonna get places, but I don't guess. So hope it works out too. But um Yeah. Oh no, this isn't a tattoo on my hand, by the way. A little drew on heart. I guess that looks kinda crappy. I put one on my wrist too. Huh? There it is. You might getting that tattooed. It's pretty cool. I just draw it on like all the time. Anyways, but I need to go to bed. Okay. 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 Sorry, I'm being annoying. All right, I'm done. Good night.